Hello there people, this is Novomage once again, and welcome back for another commentary! Okay, so this is actually like my first subscriber match, meaning I am playing against one of my subscribers. In this case, that will be Iron Show, as you can see on the, play on the players list. And actually, I'm not really gonna be talking about the gameplay, because I do have another thing I wanna talk about, and you can probably guess by the title of the video. But before that, I want to give some shoutouts, some big shoutouts, because I got some people I want to thank. First up, I got a wow, huge thanks to Yuling18. I'm really, really thankful for the intro movie that she made for my channel, as you just saw, and how friendly she is in general. Plus, she's like a beast <laughs> when it comes to video editing, so yeah, mad props for her, because she's awesome. Second, I want to give some shoutouts to the Lady Trickster because she was like in the hospital all New Year and like she has recovered. She's finally back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kids. We know, we know. Yeah, she's uh, your favorite Australian uh, commentator. So yeah, thank God that she's she's well and that she's back on her channel. And finally, I want to give some shoutouts to Draw Quasa, who is uh, one of my clan members, and he posted two videos. One contains like uh, 10 glitches and the other one is a 58k assassinate which by the way was performed using glitches but the idea th of those videos is that to highlight Ubisoft that yeah the game is broken and that it seriously needs fixing and thankfully it appears that they're actually listening so we'll have to look up to see how that turns out but uh, big thanks Dr Draquaza and please uh, when you can click the annotations and go and check his videos. Okay, so about this video itself, uh, well, basically, <laughs> as the title uh, said, our topic for today is female gamers. And yeah, but whoa, 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 wait, what do you, why, why do you use a special tam term like female gamers? Well, well, it's basically just women that play video games, right? Okay, and yeah, actually, there's like they're just like any other person, all right? Any gamer. And yes, that's how they wish people would treat them, like if they were just another gamer. But like in reality, <laughs> that's not exactly how it goes. Like, my inspiration for this video was because um, Infamous Templar was also talked about this in one of his videos, and this is actually more like a response video to that. But I'll address some points that I had long been thinking about them. Um, some are addressed to the girls, some to the guys, and some to both. But yeah, you'll know when you see everything I have to say. First of all, let's get some facts straight. Female ga gamers are heavily discriminated in the gaming community. And I don't only mean harassment, which is of course there. I also include people who underestimate a player's skills just because she's a woman. In fact, a while ago I was talking with Neji, who is an outcast templar, and she was telling me that the one thing that really pisses her off is when people say that women cannot play as good as guys do. <laughs> and I suppose that really makes her mad, because in fact she's also a really good player in the AC multiplayer, so yeah, it only makes sense that she gets mad. And honestly, I don't understand why do people even think that way? Come on, playing video games and big, being good at them is mostly a matter of practice and concentration. Oh well, and <laughs> who knows, maybe you could throw in natural talent and passion for the game. But I assure you, being male or female has nothing to do whether you're good or bad at video games at all. Come on, people, really? <laughs> Stop the old-fashioned ways of thinking that only guys play games. Well, I'm mostly saying that to guys because girls, well, women know, know this. Cause that, that was always a lie to start with. The difference is that with the boom of online gaming, you just got to realize that women also play video games. But the truth is, they always have. You just didn't notice it before. And the other thing, as I said before, that really bothers women online is harassment. Oh god, seriously. When, when will people understand that the correct term for Xbox and PS3 is online gaming, not online dating service? Because dude, that's not what it is. You go there to play with people, not have dates with them. If for any fortunate reason of destiny you happen to meet a person you like, and that person likes you back, well then that's just great. And in fact, I could say that it does happen because in my own clan, Evi Santos and Neji, uh, who I mentioned before, I are in a relationship. And they're like a really cute couple. Uh, yeah, I know, that face. <laughs> and God bless, God bless that everything is going great for them. 
But even knowing things like that, you don't just go in thinking you're going to Xbox Live to pick up a girl. Come on, really? Oh god, yeah. Okay, and regard regarding the last thing, in fact, I want to give you some advice. There's like two golden rules when dealing with people online, and I mean like all people, not just women. Like number one is, you don't say anything you wouldn't say if you were face to face with that person. Because the thing is that people do stuff online like nothing's happening and because they know that there's no punishment coming back for them. But yeah, that, oh god, they say all kinds of things, all offensive kind of things because of that. And second of all, don't do anything to another person you wouldn't like done to you. Okay, you don't like being shot? Well, all right, don't don't sh don't shoot the other guy. <laughs> oh, well, I know that that would be a hard one because people don't even listen to that one. They're just like, let's shoot everything that moves. It's Assassin's. Uh, do I? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't even remember. It's Cre Creed of Duty. That that's that's the real game that we're playing <laughs> these days. Anyway, as for the guys, I have to clarify something extra. And okay, it's okay. We all know they're women. You are men. And according to nature itself, you are supposed to be attracted by them. But believe me, the problem that most women have when it comes to online gaming is not exactly to be blamed on nature itself. It's related to the fact that you're behaving like a freaking prick. <laughs> Seriously, it makes me wonder if you say that kind of stuff uh, in your offline life to girls you know and you pick them up. Because I would honestly have to see it to believe it. Christ. Well, anyway, as Infamous and Sertic said before, Seeing women online in online communities is good. For so many reasons I can't even count them. Yeah, you know, variety and whatnot. And uh yeah, the attitude that lots of guys have, uh it's not the way to go. Oh wait a sec. Did I just pronounce Certic properly? <laughs> oh yeah I did. <laughs> Thank you everybody, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> well well. Anyway, Back with the topic at hand, there's another thing I want to talk about. A lot of people tell women who happen to be victims of this kind of abuse that what they have to do is not be obvious about their gender. In other words, they tell them not to use mics, to use gamer tags that don't give away the fact that they're women, to never, ever show themselves on camera, and so on. But I want to say something about that. You know, while that is true, and I could even say that to some extent, I agree that Doing all those things will prevent women from getting harassed by the douchebags all around the world. I have to pose the following question. Does it have to be that way? I mean, why? I well, Alright, alright. I, tola I totally understand the points in such an argument. But I wish, I just wish it didn't have to be that way. I mean, why do women have to be scared to appear in public? Men are everywhere and they do all kinds of stuff. You speak about freedom of ex expression, but you're telling me at the same time that women should be hiding in a corner in the shadows <laughs> and spend spend their lives just like that? No. S I'm sorry, but I just have to disagree with that. And in this regard, I want to give some serious props to all those female gamers that are true gamers and that are brave enough to show their faces in public internet. I also respect tho those that don't because I understand. I, I swear, I totally understand. But for those that do show their faces, that's some courage right there. And I'm talking about the real female gamers, the ones that love gaming. Because like in anything else, there's people who just happen to be cute and get paid for for showing their faces, their faces on gaming videos. And those are not the ones that I like. The ones that I like and I approve are the ones that do what they do because they have a real passion for video games. Yeah, those girls are amazing. Alright, and um, well, there's one last point I want to touch to close the commentary. And it's that while it, is, while it is true that there are a lot of great women gamers who deserve everybody's respect, it doesn't exactly go that way all the time. I mean, not every woman is a cupcake. And this, of course, is not only true when it comes to online gaming. There are a lot of women who are not angels that fell from the sky, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, wait, you don't understand? Alright, give me a sec. Yo, DJ, can you give me a hand here, please? Can you show them something to make them understand? That's a damn shame you gotta cheat to win. It really is.
But I guess some people just can't win legit. I really hope they ban you for lag switching. And before you claim you're not, I find it kind of funny how you're going through mine and all of my friends' smoke bombs without any effort at all. It's okay, though. I hope you get banned. And what's funny is, I know this isn't your real gamer tag. You just created this just to be a bitch. You really are a no-life. And I'm sorry, you thought your opinion had value? I don't listen or read messages from people I don't know. Maybe you should adopt the same if you're going to be an asshole, then you don't have to get hate mail. So, yeah, pretty much. I don't mean to offend, but she's a bitch. <laughs> sorry. I, I, and I guess that's, that pretty much illustrates my point. I try to treat every person in the same way, and I try to be nice to women uh, because, uh, yeah, I am a man, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, everyone, I just, I just hope you got the idea that I'm trying to transmit here. This community, it can be, like, great and i don't mean just the assassin's creed i mean like the online community overall it's i know it's a pipe dream all right but yeah why not just give it a try right okay so to close it up uh, i want to show a list of female gamers uh this are uh, you know wow i hope i didn't forget anybody because i know so many great uh, women and uh, that are uh, video game players, especially Assassin's Creed players, because well, of course that's the game that I play. And yeah, big shout out to all of them because they're awesome at what they do. And yeah, big big props. I wish them the best of luck and that they really well. If you guys you know want to check on them, uh, subscribe to them too and whatnot. Well, feel free, at least for those that have YouTube and for maybe, I don't know, <laughs> stalk them on Twitter. <laughs> no, whatever. I mean, you know, exchange ideas with them in any way that you see fit, all right? But just don't make anything stupid, please, all right? <laughs> okay, well, uh, this does it. Uh, as usual, if you liked, uh, this is my like my first serious commentary. I don't know, maybe I don't know. You guys don't like this type of thing, but if you like, as usual, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>